Hey everyone, it's Jonathan from Motor Psychology. Welcome to the channel. For the new viewers, welcome. And also for the returning viewers, welcome back. Your support is recognized and greatly appreciated. So in today's video, it's going to be about installing the crossover stainless steel brake line on the front of the Corvette between the left and the right um, brakes. So it's a hard stainless steel prefabricated line that you need to thread in and install that way. If that goes successfully, I'm gonna do a couple other small hard brake lines that go to the brake hoses leading to the front brake calipers. And if all that goes well, I'm gonna install the front brake calipers and say that I'm done with the front brake. So stick around, let's see what the challenges are and see how it goes. All right, let's see what we have here. So this is the front brake line kit. It's got this prefabricated um, brake line which is going to go from the left to the right or right to the left whole bunch of interesting shapes to it and it also has a few ends on it as well which will be used for going down to the wheel well uh, to where the brake hose is going to connect and uh, stuff like that so this stuff is ready to go I've got new clips these clips will secure this to the frame and I had to get some new bolts as well or new nuts um, so those are good the bolts that will fit into the frame we've also got a couple brake line hoses four of them to be exact one for each side so i'm only going to need two for the front and i've got some brake lines this is one kit that has the front brake lines in it and the rear brake lines i also have another set of front brake hoses as well so these ones are AC Delco and that is the part number for those if you guys are interested and they're an AC Delco product these guys here I think I got from Corvette Depot it's rubber four pieces 1963 to 1982 c3 so they will work I'll probably use these ones I kind of like those but um, at the same time I might use these ones as well Once again, there are other references, but primarily I like to refer to this book here. It has the general instructions down here on uh, chapter 9-8, I guess. Replacement front brake hoses and metal brake lines as well. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. So let's get out in the garage and see how it goes. So here's the engine bay and the new front line is basically going to run along here then down and there's a lip here and it'll come across this lip and then it's going to come across the right front part of the frame and then over this side here and then around so lots to do it's all custom size so it should work okay and i still have the old one there as a final reference especially where it's useful to know where these clips go on. So I'm just keeping that there so I'll know where to put the clips on the new one. So I'm gonna get most of it done and let's get into it. So I'm gonna take this line off and there's another shorter line which is about a foot and a half that comes from the proportioning valve uh, back to the left front brake. So it also goes to this as well. So at the front proportioning valve which is located on the left side under the fender kind of under the brake booster as well so i need to get the other end of, from this off and another short one off and hopefully it'll go well so the next picture i'll show you that proportioning valve that i'm talking about so looking head on onto the corvette there's the master cylinder uh, and underneath that is the front proportioning valve which i'll show you now so i'm just going to go underneath the fender and i'll show you so this is the front left wheel well and there's all the steering stuff there and it's under here so you can see where the steering gear is so it's up underneath there so let's have a look under there so here's the front proportioning valve we need to get this one off here and this part way up here 
is the connection for the super long continuous front brake line. So this one has to come off and this one has to come off as well. But before I do that, I'm going to spray it with penetrant and let it sit for a while. That's always a safer thing to do than try and start it without using the penetrant. So that'll be pretty easy if I can get these two out. So this is also another area. It's attached to the frame just outside the wheel well here. And these two lines I don't need. So I might just split them there. It'll make getting this nut out easier. So I'll put some penetrant on it, just waiting for it to settle in. And I'll probably clip that off and break these because I don't need those anyway. So they're just getting in the way of trying to get a um, open-ended wrench in there. It's a half inch and ideally I'd like to get this thing in would be the best. Right now it's a tight fit to get in there because of the brake line. But I'm just going to punch that out of the way and I'll be right back. All right, still working on getting this off. I've got some penetrant on it. I was able to loosen it with the breaker bar, this thing here, and squeezing that thing in here. It was a tight fit, but I think I have it loose enough that I can get it off with a normal wrench. Should be able to get this in maybe now. Perfect. There we go. Got the bracket off or undone, which is great. Pull it off. But that frees up that those two brake hoses, which is great. They're going to see if the penetrants worked well enough so I can get this out of the proportioning valve. Looking at 11 sixteenths, I think, for this one here. And I'm using these special wrenches that are made for brake line tops. They just help you have a better grip on it. I'm not feeling 100% optimistic at this point, but we'll see. I found another brake line bolt up there so I'm going to undo that and still waiting for these things to loosen up. Uh, at the end of the day I can cut the brake lines here and then put a socket on there. may give me better leverage to get that off or remove the entire proportioning valve. Um, who knows? We'll see how it goes. So let's see if I can get this one off. It's an awkward spot as everything seems to be under here. There we go. There's the nut. And the bracket got to be around here somewhere. feels broken. Yeah, there's the bracket. It's broken. There we go. Those are freed up. Getting a little bit more aggressive here. I don't need these lines, so I'm just going to cut them off here. So I pulled this short one off, broke it at the end here, and same with the giant long one, broke that off. So just remembering that the giant long one goes in the top and that one goes in the bottom. Now I can put it in a smaller socket and hopefully get that thing off. Let's try that. Let's see if this is gonna make any difference. Good fit, but not moving much.
but there we go. There. There's one of the old sides out, which is awesome. Now I just got to do the top. Oh, that's too easy. And finally, this one is coming out as well. So we've got both of the brake lines off of the proportioning valve. So looking in here now, we've got the big brake line here that is easy to come out. And I'm gonna pull that out from the top. So once this is out, we've got the entire long line out and I just pulled the short one out um, before. So now we just have to pull that out and then stick the new line in. So looking at it from the top, this is the line that I'm going to pull out. And then I'm going to put all the clips on the new line in the same space. So these clips here, I'll line up on the new ones. So it's just a matter of pulling this out, which is going to be pretty straightforward. Keeping in mind to see how it's threaded through, which is kind of a good idea to do. So comes through there and around through there. All right, let's pull it out. There we go. So we got everything out pretty much. This one's out. Now I can lay it out next to the new one, put the clips in the right spot. Okay, I've got the old brake line there with the clips on it, and I've got the new one there, and I'm just going to put the clips, these ones here, in roughly the areas that I see on here. So generally speaking, somewhere around here, we've got a clip. Make sure we get the right type here. There's various types. So we're just looking at a, a round one here. There we go. Stick that one on there. Pinch it down a little bit. Hey, buddy. Hey, you here to help? here to help all right this one can go in here like so uh, maybe that's not the right one let's get a bigger one here oops watch out watch out there's all these spiky things here buddy so we've got the lines there inspected by the pooch and all the brackets in roughly the right position next step putting it back in the Corvette all right we're back at the Corvette and now I've got to put that big stainless steel brake line in here so let's get that thing going. So first of all, I'm just going to loosely place it in and hopefully be able to feed the line through the channels that needs to go on that side and then hopefully bolt it down and around here.
So right now, here's the main line. I'm just trying to squeeze it into all the right places in there. And it's gonna be a little bit of a puzzle, I guess, to put that in. This part here needs to go down underneath the control arm. This part here needs to go down, way down here next to the steering gear right there so my real challenge here is fiddling around with this to get that in and it's just going to take a lot of um, trial and error to get it in and the other end is way over here and that needs to go down to the proportion valve so here's the steering gear right there so I want to have the line has got to come down here and then travel that way so down here and then along the side and right now I've got it up here and I've got to start moving it down here so I'm on the left side looking right and I'm getting this thing slowly in just taking my time and it's got to follow around and then go down near the frame and then through there to the brake. On this side, it's even more tricky. So this thing here has to come down below the control arm to the side of the frame. And then this part here, you can see the, the brake line, it's got to go down further on the wheel well side. So that's what I'm currently working on. So up here somewhere. So through there you can see the brake line and then I need to get it down here and along. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Once I get that in place, we should be good. Just takes a lot of trial and error to get that in place and just do it gently as to not break the line. So we're looking down at the left part of the frame here. That's the alternator, steering pump, and finally getting this line a little bit more down where it's supposed to be. This bracket here will screw in here. This one here will screw in over here. So it's getting there. Down here, it's getting down to where it's supposed to be. And then way over here, it's getting close to the proportion valve there. So I may be able to attach that from down below, but I'll have a look. So I'm just gonna put the clip lightly in place for here. So this is gonna go in here lightly for now. That'll keep that kind of in place. So I've got one bolt in there, not very tight, but just keeping that in place for me, which is good. Now I'm gonna go down below and sort that out. So we're looking in the right wheel well right now, and this line you can see comes out around the support for the front upper control arm, and then it comes down into this hole here. So that is that one pretty much in place. Now it's gonna be about going around the perimeter and putting these things in properly and then also tightening it up in the proportion valve, which I'm gonna do right now. So this is the left wheel well without doing any major adjustments. This thing is more or less in the same position the other one was. It's gonna run along the frame here. And all I have to do right now is to 
put the end in the proportion valve and then I can put the clips on here. So with this, once again, there is your steering coupler. There's your steering shaft there, um, steering box there. And here is the crossover line, which needs to go in this part of the proportion valve. So it's just going to be a matter of finding the hole in there, lining it up, gently threading it in. And then once it feels like it's threaded properly, I can tighten that down. And then when this is in place, then I can do all the fine adjustments on where this sits along the frame. But I've got it threaded in right, and I'll put some diagrams in the video so that you can see that. There is a couple of variations. Um, some Corvettes have the um, proportion valve located somewhere differently, so you need a much um, shorter line going from this part of the proportion valve into your front and left brake cylinder. So slightly different, but I will put that diagram in that matches this car and the other C3s as well. So I'm going to get this one in and keep moving ahead. All right, let's get this in here. little bit of a challenge lining it up so I'm using a little telescopic mirror to help me see this location here. These are very inexpensive and easy to use. Here's the line coming into the proportion valve for this one. Now I'm just going to straighten that one up on the front. And this one, as far as the crossover, will be pretty much done. Okay, so now we're going to tighten that up along there. A little bit of bending is going to be required to get that down there. All right, I'm going to gently bend this thing down into place. All right, we're underneath to put the middle one in. It's a lot easier from underneath here. You can bend that into position. It has to go up there. I'll stick this one in. Leave that for now. That's part in. Now we got to bend this one up and get that clip in. And that one goes way up here. So we've got to put this bracket in up here. All right, let's see if we can get that in.
All right, we're moving along the front there nicely. I have to put one right over there as well. So let's do that one as well. So there's the front crossover line. It's coming over the frame, down the side, along the front, and along this area. And then it runs underneath this control arm. Then it goes under here, and under here, and eventually way down here. Finally, this part will be pushed in and clamped. So that hard brake line is in the right spot. So it's going to take a break and I'll be back to put in the short line there and then the brake hoses and the calipers as well. All right, here's the next part that needs to go in. It's a small part that's going in on the left side of the Corvette. This side goes into the proportion valve and the longer bendy side goes into the brake caliper. This is the replacement part, which looks great. And here is the original part. So one thing that I was looking at just to make sure that it's more or less bent the same way, which is perfect and it gives me a good model to follow as well. So um, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go out and install that and then get on to doing the brake hoses and the calipers. So we're back down here on the left side of the Corvette. There's the old one and the new one side by side. So this is the side that needs to go towards the proportion valve and this crazy side here basically comes out of here and then down through here for the brakes. So let's get started by installing this crazy one here and getting that out of the way and then we'll just clamp it down over here with the clamps and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start by threading this through here and I don't imagine it's going to be very difficult to get set up here. Um, I think I'm going to put this on the closer side so I'm just going to bend this a little bit out of the way. All right so then I can stick this one back here like so. This may need a little bit of bending as well. Anyway that's going to go in there and I'm going to go on the other side and hook that up to the proportion valve. So here's the line coming to the proportion valve there and it's pretty much a perfect fit. So I'm just gonna take the cap off that and screw it in there and we're good to go. Just take the plastic cap off here. And this, without any trouble, should fit in there, no problem. And it looks like it's in there, so I'm just gonna tighten it up. I'm going to keep it a little bit loose until I get the front side in there so that if this needs to swing a little bit, it can swing. Um, so let's go up to the left wheel well and get this one through. So we're back at the top now and this guy here basically needs to be tweaked a little to fit in here and then we'll also clamp them down up there as well. So a little bit of gentle bending I think. And you know, we're getting there. So looking in here now, we've got this in the right spot and it kind of swings around and meets up with the crossover line and then continues down into the 
proportion valve. So there's a hole there for the clamp. Very hard to see, but right in there. And I'm going to get the clamp set up and that'll pin these two together like how they're supposed to be. And then we'll move on to putting the brake hoses on and also getting the calipers done as well. So this is the type of clamp that is going to put them both down so it's big enough for them both to fit in and then clamp it down. So once again the hole is here and this clamp to be the same as the other one actually comes in that way. So the bolt will go through here and through there. So I'm just going to get that through. So let's see if we can set this up. It's going to be a little bit of a reach. I need to bend this down a little bit more. So it's all about bending and shaping this clamp so that it can handle these two brake lines and then also stay in alignment with the screw hole for it as well. So that's going to take a little bit. It's a really tight spot in between uh, the wheel well kind of uh, mud flap and the frame to get this thing in. So it's going to take a little bit of trial and error to do that. So. That's what I'm working on. All right, we've got these things clamped down here, which you can see. So these are in the right, correct spot. This is ready to go in here. And you can bend it slightly to do the final adjustment. So that's pretty good. So the front brake line, um, this is coming from the proportion valve to the left side. And you've got the crossover line that goes from the proportion valve to the right side. So. Now let's hook up the hoses and the calipers. So I'm getting ready to put on the brake hoses, which are here, and onto the calipers as well. So I did order some copper washers, and you need the copper washer to go between the brake hose and the caliper here. So let me just take this out. So there's the washer, and it would go on here in between where the brake hose here would screw in. So you want to have that copper washer kind of at the end of that brake hose. So when I ordered these things, and they weren't cheap, I thought I was going to get four, but they sent one of these things for like 10 bucks. So since I have two calipers to do, I went to the local automotive store and the closest thing that I could get is this washer here which is bigger in diameter and it's a little bit thick as well so I took a little bit of time and I took this washer here and I manufactured out of it one of these so same thickness down here and also same diameter so this one here will fit perfectly over there and because copper is so soft when the brake hose is tightened in this will create a leak free seal so that's what you need on your front calipers it's different on the rear calipers uh, my understanding is you don't need a copper washer so i took this one and i made it into this one and that matches that so we're good to go Okay, we're finally at a stage now where we can put the brake caliper on, the brake hose, and those copper washers as well. So I've decided for whatever it's worth, I'm gonna just use this brake hose. I've got another one downstairs in my house at my workshop, if I wanna use that one, really doesn't matter to me. And the rebuilt, refreshed caliper is going back on. The, um, the important thing is here, I may, I may take off this, push the pistons back to get it on and then put these on or I might be able to slide it on with the pads on who knows um, other important areas to consider these are the mounting bolt areas so these are torqued on at 70 foot pounds and this is your bleeder screw and then way under here is where you attach the hose um, one of these things goes in between a copper washer and then this is tightened up so it's important um, 
to tighten the hose on here first so that um, if you put this part on first it's going to get all twisted and wrapped up and won't work and you'll have to take your caliper off and rotate your caliper around or something like that so the idea all the time whether or not this is on your corvette or not if you're changing your brake hose or your caliper just take it out of here first before you uh, take it off where it attaches to the brake line on the corvette so let's get this one started and hopefully things will work out fine so the first thing i'm going to do is attach the brake hose which is this thing here See if it comes with any instructions that make sense. 15 degrees, uh, put it in a straight position. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. Um, it's not super, super cold out. So this thing will be nice and stretched out anyway. So let's grab a copper ring here. Just going to put that down. I think I'll use the one that I made. And that way, the way that I parked my car it'll be easier to change if in fact it doesn't work so that looks really awesome compared to the the regular one it's a pretty close facsimile i think all right let's stick this one on and it's really as simple as putting that on here like so and screwing it in And you just keep on turning it around to get this thing on. There aren't any torque values for this, so I'm just going to put it on tight enough that I can feel that washer kind of getting sunken in a little bit. There we go. That should be tight enough. Now I get to put this on the Corvette. Right, went on pretty good. Time to put the bolts on here, the mounting bolts back in. So looking back at the caliper from underneath the uh, hood, um, here's the mounting bolts. So they go through a hole that's in the steering knuckle area and one at the top so it's just a matter of tightening those on and you can see how the brake hose is heading that way so i don't know if you can see in the mirror but the mirror is showing me where that bolt is right here and very handy at doing that now it's just a matter of torquing these things down and then getting the hose in which is over here and the hose itself is just going to go up in this section and clipped in so that's pretty straightforward so the caliper mounting bolts are a 5 8 just tightening these things up these are brand new mounting bolts and i'm going to move up to the top up here All right, the calipers are on for what it's worth and the rotor still spins, which is kind of nice. So these are torqued to 70 foot pounds and I will do those off camera, but just know that they're 70 foot pounds. So here's my pack of the new clips here and all you need is one for each 
place where the hard brake line meets the frame. So let's get this one out. Cut it out of the bag here. Go in and grab one. There we go. So this clip here installs with this top part facing up. And this is something that you can grip onto when you need to pull it off. So um, it will clip into the hose line through this bracket and then you just tighten this thing on. So let's do that. So I've got the brand new clip here. It's gonna go with the top on it facing in this way and it clips the hose on there and then you can screw the brake line in. So let's just get this out of the way for a second. There we go. And we can put the brake hose through and it's a fit through here like that. And then you just take the clip and you push it in. Get my hammer. Use the soft tip hammer to tap it in. There we go. So the brake hose is in there nice and tight now. And it's just a matter of getting this guy here and lining it up and then putting it in there. And it's going to take a little bit of tweaking and adjustment and minor bending to get it lined up properly. So what we're doing here is threading the hard brake line into the brake hose. The brake hose is nice and firmly fixed to the frame here. So it's just a matter of lining this up with the hole and then threading it in and tightening it up. Once you get it started by hand, the rest is pretty straightforward. And once again, I'm using a 7 16th special wrench here that is great. There, you can start to feel it get it tight. I'm not gonna do it very tight. Just snug it in. So there you have the entire setup. You've got your hard crossover front line coming in here and it's clipped to the brake hose through the frame and then the brake hose goes into the caliper. So we're good to go on this side, everything is done. I still need to torque that up to 70 foot pounds, but you get that part and the brake line and hose are installed. So got to move on to the left side and get that one done. All right, in case you missed the one that I just did out in the garage, I decided to do this one on the bench. It's a little bit more convenient. So once again, this is for the left side, brake hose here, they're both the same. And let me flip this around here. Here is where the brake hose is gonna go. So let's get that set up. And once again, you're gonna need that copper washer there as well. So let's get this guy opened up. And there we go, there's the line. This I'm going to stick on here and then thread it in. Super simple. Once you get it started, you just wind it around. There we go. And I'm just going to give it a good tighten here. Nothing too hard nice and firm just enough to 
crush that washer or just embed it in there a little bit. So there you go, the hose is on. These are the mounting bolts. I'll take these out for now. I forget how much these things cost me, but $20 or something like that for all of these. Awesome. Let's take it out to the garage and get this one installed. All right, we're on the left front side and I'm gonna install the caliper first. So um, for those people who just need to replace their brake hoses, you need to take your caliper off first. So you can take your brake hose off from where it meets the caliper and then um, put your caliper back on or wait until you get the new hose. So generally hose replacement, take the caliper off, take the hose off the caliper uh, and then take the hose off from the hard fitting over here. And when you go to install it, you put your hose on your caliper while the caliper is off the, uh, the disc. Then you install your caliper and then you run your hose through and install it in there. Just kind of like what I'm doing right now. So let's give that a try. So I've got my brand new caliper mounting bolts. I would always recommend to use proper caliper mounting bolts, not just generic bolts. Um, they will eventually heat up or fail on you. So use the right type of uh, quality with that. So I'm gonna install that. Once again, one will go up here and the other one goes through right here into the caliper um, mounting places. And then you tighten that up to 70 foot pounds. So let's get that on right now. All right, that is getting in place. A little bit of a tight fit with these brand new pads here. Find the location for one of the mountain bolt mounting bolts. One is in. Moving on to the top one. I'm gonna have to get my mirror again and have a look. I think. There we go. Tighten those up. Pretty hard, same with this one. All right, this caliper's mounted. Now we're gonna bring the hose over to the other side. So this is the old clip. This is the new clip, virtually identical, except not rusted. So this one is gonna put the hose in place. And then just like the other one, we screw that one in. So let's get the hose in there first. There we go, it's in place. Slide this thing on, which is more than sliding. Uh, use a soft tip hammer to pop it in. There we go, that hose is in perfectly. 
Now it's just a matter of lining this guy up and screwing it in. All right, that's threading in nicely now. Grab my little special wrench for this. And I don't even have to tighten it very hard at all. There we go. All right, this one's in. The hard brake line that I showed you earlier is in. The brake hoses and the calipers are installed with the brake pads. So everything is looking good at this point. So to wrap up on here, this one is installed. There's the mounting bolt there. And the other mounting bolt is over here. There's the hose running into the frame. So this one's done. Hey everyone, that concludes the video for this episode. So in today's episode, it was all about putting in the crossover line, brake line between the left and the right, and then also a couple hard lines leading to where the brake hoses go in and then putting them on the calipers and installing the calipers onto the steering knuckles. So we're moving ahead. The next job coming up is putting in the radiator and all the pumps and pulleys and stuff like that. So stick around for that. I'm currently working on that and we'll have that up as soon as I can. So thanks very much for your support. It's greatly appreciated and we'll catch you all back here at Motorpsychology next time.